What's good, YouTube? I'm back with another reaction video. The last video for today. I'm going to end it off with a banger. UDY. He's always gold digger pranks. His little pranks about, you know, cheating and shit. And I'm a super ultra pro at finding this shit out. You know, you know reading body language and shit. And I kind of like watching these videos. They're entertaining for me. So, uh, you know... Women is not the only like the only bad people. I know we fuck up too, but you know it's fuck them hoes today we die. Hoes, I'm talking about hoes now. But let's see, let's see what what this video got in store for us. With her boyfriend shower with her best friend. Now I'm just gonna say before we started though, I'm a gold digger. But look, ho 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 ho! Don't get on me. Do not get on me. Hear me out. Now, if I got a girl, like, so let's say my, me and my girl, um, she try to set me up. I'm already not, look, I don't care about the test at all. I, she set me up if you want to right now. Set me up right now. Someone introduced me to, like, a, to a, a female with two, two, two million dollars on her right then and there and hand it to me. If I fuck with her, guess what? Let me, let me make a business decision right quick. Let me go to the car right quick. So I'm going to head to the car. I'm like, yeah, I got to head to the car. Let me go to the bathroom right quick. I'm calling her up and telling her what the, uh, what was, what's the plan? What should, what should I do? There's a, there's a bitch out here that's offering me two mil right now. Two mil. To what? To do whatever, what, what? Fuck her or take a shower. I don't know. I don't know. Right? I don't know. Beat her shit up. Cue dog her up the wall. I don't know. She offered me two million. I'm taking it. I'm, look, we gonna share the money. What you think? Am I wrong? We gonna share it, though. I'm not, look, I don't care if I knew about the uh, situation or if I don't know. I just know that's my first instinct. I'm gonna hustle that motherfucker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do her wrong. I'm gonna get that money. And we, we, hey, where you wanna go? You wanna go to Dubai? Where you wanna go? Nigga, let's get to this video, though. Today we were helping Amelia test her boyfriend. We'll just call him Mo. We wanted to know if Mo would be down to shower with our friend Madeline. Yes, you heard that correctly. Would Mo be down to shower with another girl or would he remain loyal to his girlfriend? I definitely need to shower. I can use one. You can shower too if you want. Will Mo remain faithful to Amelia or will he fold into the pressure of temptation and lust? I know a lot of people out there already think the worst. <laughs> maybe you're right, but maybe you're wrong. That's some faith in our man Mo. Nonetheless, though, I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know. This, this shit's gon gonna be good. Alright, guys. My bad, my bad, though. Do I look creepy? You look like Kenny from Cell Phone. <laughs> So this test would be taking place at this apartment. The first step of our plan was to get Mo here. We were able to do so thanks to Amelia. Hello? Hey girl, quick question. Are you home right now? Yeah, why? Well, I'm in the area. I was wondering right. if I could stop by, say hi for like an hour or two. Yeah, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's all good. I was just wondering if I could stop by if I'm in the area. Okay, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'll be over there soon. I'm gonna eat with my boyfriend, is that okay? Yeah, 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 that's fine. I'll see you guys okay, soon. Perfect. Okay, here we go. We are ready to go. This is it. I will see you guys on the other side. You gotta let him know. 10-4. 10-4 no, uh, from Ken. Over. Oh, you don't see 10-4 from Ken, you just see 10-4. 10-4. Over. I know this. Oh, it's 28 minutes. God damn! But look, uh, I remember I did this before. And it went bad. She ended up falling for it. The girl, look, so my friend had me talk to his girl to see if she would fall for it. And she fell for it. And I was a bitch ass nigga because she was crying. Please don't tell him. Please don't tell him. I, and my bitch ass said, "Okay, I won't tell him, bro. But make sure you won't you won't do him like that." Blah blah. She failed the whole test, and I ain't tell him. I end up telling him though. I end up telling him, but that shit crazy. Hello. Hey. Okay, I'll come right down. Yeah, I'm on way. Okay, bye. All right, guys. Madeline is headed outside. I repeat, Madeline is headed outside. Ten four. Over. Let's see how this goes. So Mo was flying out to Vegas and Amelia was driving him to the airport. His flight was scheduled to leave at 355, but Amelia brought him early in order to kill some time at Madeline's supposed apartment. Do you see them? Did you just ask me that? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're right there, dude. Where? Dude, just get outside and film. You can't film. Oh my god. I just got this cool new camera. Sorry, I'm like, 
playing with the hi, so nice to meet you. Madeline was the queen of pretending. She was pretending to live here, to being Amelia's friend, and to being a vlogger. <gasps> Say hi, yes. Our plan had worked in getting Mo here, which meant that we were now officially in phase one of this test. Oh my gosh, your place is so cute. Oh, Thank yes. you. Thank you so much for letting us swing by. What we'll, we'll bring you, what brought you guys to the area? Like. Um, we are gonna go to the uh, airport. We're going to Vegas and we had a couple hours to kill, so I just thought we would stop by. Why don't you own commercial real estate? Yes, you. Why don't you own commercial property? So now we just have to wait for them to come back in. <laughs> <laughs> what? Phase one was our introduction and setup phase. Everything Madeline would bring up here would be instrumental to the rest of this test. Yeah, what are you doing? Hanging out. I went to the gym. How did you work out? Legs, always legs. Legs for always days. Always legs. You work out too? Sometimes. What do you do for like fitness? Just some extra stuff, you know, CrossFit to big one. I want to be thick. Capital C. No, with. Hey yo, for this for the women. Watch out for your friends that talk like that. Like, watch out for like the super friendly ones with your dude. Like you can, the dude always can tell. You can too though. But I know this is a joke. But watch out for shit like that. Her, hey, get let her have a chance by himself, by herself. You already know what she gonna do. She gonna cue dog his ass up the wall. Three cues. Yeah. By the way, if you guys are wondering where Mo is seated, he is seated in the one chair that is literally not on camera. So now all you guys gotta see are his legs. Wait, so you guys said you guys were set up on a blind date? Mm hmm. Dude, I would never. We wanted to start laying down the foundation for Madeline to make her move, so we had to bring up a much more open view on relationships. Basically, Madeline had to come off a little liberal, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word or not. Might trigger some people, but it's honestly all I can think of. I'm always going on trips too with my girls, so. If he wants to go on a trip, I'd be like, you go and you have fun, here's a hall pass. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I love how. <laughs> How shocked Amelia like genuinely is. Here's a hall pass. Go cheat on me all you want. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really care. I'm just like, life is in a like. There's so many beautiful people in this world. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't keep someone from experiencing them. You know? Okay. No. But I like that for you. <laughs> if this was real, bro, that's what you call a mating call. She is right now. She's in heat. That's that's what I call. She's in heat right now. Nigga, she ready to get her shit thrashed. Get that for you, love that for you. No. Yeah, but. Anyone can do whatever the hell they want, but I really do feel like there are people with relationships like that. Okay, I can drive you guys, though. So I can drive No, you. that's okay, you don't have to. No, it's fine, you guys already drove so far. No, I feel bad. I don't want you to have to, like, drive us and then feel obligated just because we came over to Girl. say hi. After a very productive, almost hour-long conversation, Madeline eventually offers Amelia and Mo a ride to the airport. This is it. I think they're leaving. We're going on a mini-adventure. The eagle has left the nest, I repeat. <laughs> the eagle has left the nest. Over. What does that mean? 10-4, over. We have to figure out what we're gonna do tonight. So with that, phase number one was complete and we were officially in phase number two, which was even easier than phase number one. All right, I'm taking them to the airport. All we had to do was drop Mo off at the airport and follow them, of course. Let's do this. Bro, why are you coming out already? Why are you so close? What do you mean? I'm just driving. Bro, you're too close. What do you mean? I gotta drive. I want you to slow down so we don't get caught. We can't get caught. You're in incognito mode. <laughs> True, big facts. Alrighty guys, so we have a camera crew in the car that is gonna be following Madeline to the airport. Our job from here is done. We're pretty much wrapped for today, guys. We're just gonna be picking this thing back up in a couple of days. Whoa! Is your seatbelt on, young man? It is on! <laughs> who, who taught you how to drive? We need to get you a car seat. Okay, we're here at the airport, guys. I'm so excited. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah! How are you, Phil? Um, yeah, whatever. Have fun without me. <laughs> I don't care. Be happy for him. I'm yeah. happy for you. Have I'm sure you guys will have a good time too. Oh, we will. We're gonna have a great time. <laughs> okay, hurry up, you're gonna miss flight. <laughs> so unfortunately, we can't find out if Mo will remain loyal in Vegas, even though we really thought about it. We didn't go through with it though because it was just too last minute and not enough time to plan. But we are gonna find out if he remains loyal when he gets back. For real, how do you feel? Um, like, I don't know, I really don't. Like I trust him, but then again, like how much do you really like trust someone? People can be deceitful, I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> 
four days came and went until it was finally time to finish this test off. The angle always looks good when I'm in it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, hey! We're about to go pick up Mo from the airport. He has absolutely no idea that I'm picking him up, so we'll see his reaction. So we are uh, bottling. <laughs> oh no! No! We are not doing that! Guys, we are following Madeline to the airport. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> That's it. While Ken and Anthony followed, not fondled, Madeline to the airport, the rest of our team stayed behind to set everything else up. Mo thinks that Amelia is going to be picking him up from the airport, but in reality, she's not. In reality, we are going to have Madeline pick him up from the airport. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Do we even know where he's coming at him? I, we have no idea. He should be coming out through these doors. So what has Mo been doing in Vegas anyway? Getting so, drunk, mm -hmm. sleeping with women. <laughs> He's not ugly. I'm just saying. Do you want him to fondle you? No. <laughs> he gay. He gay. If it was me though, <clears throat> I'm not gonna keep pausing the video because it's 28 minutes. <clears throat> I'm. If she come up and pick me up, <clears throat> I'm gonna call my girl first though. I'm gonna call her and be like, "You sent her to pick me up?" Or yeah, like, "What's going on? You not picking me up? She your old girl picking me up?" Now if she say, "Yeah, I told her to come pick you up," she must trust her enough to pick me up. That's the only time I get in the car. Like, I'll, I'll be debating on getting in the car, but I'm gonna call her up first, though. <laughs> if he buys me Javier's, maybe, man. Bruh. Is that all it is? It's Javier's. Hey, guys, can you hear me? We can hear you. Ken and Anthony can hear me. We're right behind you. Over and out. <laughs> that thing's so cool. <laughs> While the airport team waited at Intercept Mo, we were waiting on Amelia to get to the apartment. Unfortunately, she was getting out of work a bit later than expected. Yeah, I still have not heard back from Amelia yet. I'm not too concerned though. I'm pretty sure she is on her way or she's just getting off work. Okay, okay, I'm gonna hide I'm gonna hide this thing. Okay, don't don't speak because you're gonna blow my cover. 10 for 10 for. He's coming. I don't know where he is. I don't see him. I kind of forgot what he looked like. Oh, is that him? No. Is that him over there? There he is. That's him, right? That's him. Over. Mo! Mo! Hi! What's up? It is me, your Uber. How are you? Good, how are you doing? You remember me? Yeah, what are you doing here? So your girl asked me to pick, her, pick you up because she had to pick up some extra hours at work. So I'm here. She didn't tell you? No, I was just trying to call her. She said she called you, but I don't know, maybe because you were on the plane. Oh, uh, okay. So she gonna, she's going to go. She's going gonna, she's gonna to meet you at my apartment later when okay. she's off. Here, I'll help you. I don't know, bro. Call, call her. Call her. Hey. Hey. If you want to fuck me, just say that. Because hold on. She definitely ain't say no shit like that. Ain't no girl gonna say some shit like that. No. <laughs> You're like so confused. Yeah, honestly, uh, not, not. My car is so dirty. I was not expecting it You looked at me like, who is this crazy woman <laughs> <laughs> waving at me? I was like, well, what are the odds? <laughs> Gosh, she's at work right now. Sorry, I'm like, I'm like vlogging. You're back on the vlog, huh? I'm, I'm taking it very seriously, as you can see. Oh, you know, decked out today. I know. Hey! <laughs> she'll, she'll be seeing this later. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn my camera off. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Be good. How was your trip? It was fun. Yeah, I'm like trying to hydrate now. <laughs> oh yeah, you were super hungover, but. Uh, yeah, it was pretty bad. I almost missed my flight. No. <laughs> With money. Still think that it takes money to make money? Bullshit. That's just what rich people want you to believe, so that they. Now in our custody, things were going half smooth. We were beginning to become a bit concerned with Amelia's ETA. By this time, she was already off work and thankfully on her way. However, being that she was coming from LA, rush hour traffic became enemy number one. Oh, oh, she's cutting people off now. Oh, and we cut people off now. Now I made like a super illegal left hand turn. <laughs> we just have to follow her. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. I definitely need vacation. Did you go Vegas? Vegas is like over I don't know. It's like all the same shit. That's true, kind of, yeah. Kind of. Yeah. wrong. She's trying to get over? Yes. Oh, is that her? Yeah. That's not her in the. Oh, it is it? Oh, man, I'm blind. I should put my glasses back on, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
Madeline's job was to bring Mo over, but on the way here, she needed to convince him to go to the gym with her. Remember, we're trying to see if Mo's gonna shower with her, so we gotta get them sweaty. No, I'm definitely gonna go work out though, and we have time to kill him as well. Oh, you're serious? No, I'm, I'm dead ass. Oh, like, I really need to work out. I thought you were <laughs> No, I'm dead ass. I really need to work out. Where do you go? I don't know how remember this year. No, there's a, there's a gym in my, uh, there's a gym in my place. It's a little light work. I guess. Yeah, I know where we're going to do. Sit, sit in my apartment and twiddle our thumbs. Oh no, we, yeah, we are going the wrong way. Alert, alert, Madeline has gone on the wrong freeway. We are going towards San Diego. How do we let her know that she's going the wrong direction? Oh no, and she's going to Me, just being me, I would have been noticed that car following though. Nah, I know Jason Bourne shit, but I, I noticed shit like that. There's a car that's been following us this whole time. I'm... I'm I'm confused how he still ain't figured that shit out though. Can you get further? Oh no, my god, she's gone rogue. She's gone rogue. She's gone rogue. Do you think maybe she just lost in his eyes that she forgot? She can't something? drive. Maybe. Yeah, all my buddies and I like we agreed like we would take we took like workout gear with us. We're like, alright, like we can, you know, party hard, but like we gotta hit the gym too. And oh you guys did? No. We didn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we did. That's what I feel like that's how it always is. We've driven like about like almost like ten minutes in the wrong direction of the Game plan for her gym, right? We're going to the gym? Let's do something light, you know? Something light. <laughs> something easy. She's not exiting. She didn't exit! Exit. She's still on the freeway. Are we not part of some plan? Is there a plan something you can tell us? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, okay. If it isn't already obvious, Ken and Anthony have been following the wrong car. So we are officially leaving the airport and following Madeline back to the apartment. No, we are not. <laughs> No, you're not, bro. You are following John going back home to his wife and kids in San Diego. <laughs> we are about to exit Orange County if this goes any further. This is like absolutely ridiculous. She knows, right? I mean, she said she had the address. Oh my God. <laughs> Thankfully, Madeline texted me when she arrived, which allowed us enough time to vacate the apartment and set up our live feed. I just have to change really quick and then maybe drink like some bagel. Eventually, though, the boys realize their mistake. There's no way. There's no way that it was us being so dumb. We fucked up pretty bad. We felt pretty identical. What do you guys think? That do we cut these guys a break or do we fire them? Fire them. I just need to change. You need to change. You can use this bathroom. Go right ahead. Yes. Okay, guys, so he's in the bathroom changing. I also have to change, so I'll be right back, and I'm definitely not bringing you in there with me. <laughs> Madeline has convinced Mo to go to the gym with her. I don't know how she did it, but we told her to get it done, and it looks like she got it done. Hopefully, Anthony and Ken get to the gym soon because they're responsible for recording them at the gym. <laughs> I wonder how much we've missed. This is gonna be an awkward conversation later. <laughs> Madeline and Mo made their way to the gym. Anthony and Ken arrive about 20 minutes into their workout. Check the other side, they might be on the other side. Oh, I needed to get this in, get this workout in. Now, despite this test being halfway done, there was still no sign of Amelia, which at this point started worrying us. Damn, he's pushing the 30s? No wonder you're so buff. She did say she was on her way. We have been in communication with each other, so there's no issue there. I just hope she honestly gets here soon. Uh, Amelia yeah. eventually shared her location with us, and things were a lot worse than we thought. 39 minutes out? Damn. We were cutting it close. Madeline and Mo were gonna be at the gym for a good 45 minutes, but immediately after, she would take him upstairs and ask him to shower. It seems like Amelia might get here like right when Madeline is already making her move. How do we stall? <laughs> is there any way that we can come up with like stalling? What you got? Ab roller? Yeah. Okay, I wanna do some abs too actually. Oh dang, she's asking me to call her. Hello? Hey, hey, hey. You asked me to call you? Yeah, I am stuck in the worst traffic I've ever experienced in my life. There's been a crash on the highway, and we've all just been at a standstill. I'm not trying to waste y'all's time. Like, this has just been a nightmare. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. No, I know. I, I know. I'm so sorry. That's LA traffic for you. It's awful. We literally have a quitter. No. He's quitting. He's a quitter. Oh, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. So what are, you, what are you thinking like? Cause we could try to stall. We could try to think of something. I think you should just go ahead and go with the test since y'all are already, you know, doing it. And then just keep me updated, you know? Like we've already come this far, so you might as well follow through, you know? So, so you want us to like go for it without like you here? Yeah, it is what it 
it is. He's gonna do what he's gonna do. So just, yeah, just continue. Are you are you sure? Because again, we can stall. We can try to figure something out. He's gonna catch up. If that's her actual dude, she would not be. No. I I find it hard to believe. She's okay with just like, yeah, see how far you No. This gotta be safe. Just go ahead and do it. I'm 100% positive. I wanna know what this mofo does. <laughs> There's not a thought in hell I'm gonna be able to get out of this traffic. It is the worst. I like traffic I've ever experienced. So let me let me ask you this. If he fails or if he passes, what do we do then? <laughs> oh God. Uh, tell him it was a test. And then, yeah, he and I are gonna have to talk about it afterwards. <gasps> Just do it. Life short. This, please, I hope this is not staged, bro. Because I really believe in this shit real. But she already know he gonna fail. Hopefully he passed. I don't care. I want to see what he does. <laughs> I wish I could be there. I'm so sorry. No, you're good. You're good. It's not. It's. It, I should have planned ahead. This was the weirdest thing ever. Amelia was scared that traffic would continue backing up, so she wanted us to see this thing through without her here. Oh fuck! Damn. Now it was weird to me because we're in the end game. Why quit now? I get that traffic was backing up, but we're in the 22nd mile of this marathon. We could have found a way to make this work. We just finished the workout. We're about to head back upstairs. I'm literally dying. <laughs> Let's go. The most logical explanation I could think of was that the traffic caused Amelia to get irritated, which caused her to back out. Maybe Amelia was sitting through traffic, grew irritated, and having some time to ponder about everything. Maybe Amelia. Her ass getting Q dog up the wall. Decided to change your minds. Oh, oh, they are done with the gym. Oh my gosh. That was rough. They just got cooler here, thank God. Yeah, I was like, oh. Do you want anything to, you want like water or something? No, no, I'm okay. You okay? You work out that hard, to be honest. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> he made me work out. He made, no, he made, me, work he out. made me work out. He also said he was buying me dinner after this. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of her reasoning, we were gonna honor Amelia's wish and see this thing through. I filled the boys in on the situation and had them listen in with me since Amelia wouldn't be here. Can you get some food or something? I'm really hungry. Let's work out. Actually, I'm kind of hungry, but for something else. <laughs> Any moment now, Madeline would be making her move and asking Mo to shower. Will he fail the test or remain loyal to his girlfriend? I told them, hey mom, I spent eight years on this degree, but I hate it, and I really want to change jobs. I'm sorry, I know that. The last I heard from her was when you were on the plane. Who cares? She'll be here eventually. Eventually? She just forgot. Oh, she forgot about you. <laughs> How could anyone forget like, about oh, you? I was supposed to do that one. What was I supposed to do? Oh, that one thing. I forgot about this, <laughs> this very beautiful man. Mmm, she's slick. <laughs> you have really pretty eyes. Thank you. They're like super dreamy. Let me see. Damn, okay, staring into my soul. You gave me nervous. Into your soul. It's kind of hot. It's kind of hot. <laughs> so, how long have you been working out for? Because look at your arms, they're so buff. Uh, no, I used to work out a lot more than I do now. You look like a bodybuilder. You're doing good. My nigga doing good, though. Yeah, just stay in shape. Or is it genetic? Sure. Come on, you have to give yourself more credit. Good jeans, that's all it is. They definitely have good jeans, that's for sure. I haven't worked out in a week. I'm not gonna lie, you kind of stink. Okay, it's not that bad. It's like, I like guess, smell. Let me guess, let me guess what you're doing. Ah, Lee. <laughs> hey, who was who you talking to? That's your pussy are you talking about. That ain't me. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Alright, this is it. I definitely need to shower. I can use one. You can shower too if you want. It's okay. It's cool. I gotta change anyway. Then... You're gonna change out of your sweaty clothes and put non-sweaty clothes on and not shower? Yeah, I mean, I'll wash them later. It's no big deal. I mean, we... I, mean I didn't even work out that hard, honestly. Maybe you would want to shower if you had company? <laughs> shower? Is that is that another is that more content for your blog? I mean, <laughs> it can be. <laughs> <laughs> Madeline! Up to you. Now I'm wondering what kind of vlog you have. I mean, I don't have an OnlyFans if that's what you're insinuating. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it would be for my memoirs, but... It's funny. So, is that a yes? To what? To shower together. I don't know about that. <laughs> Why? Are you, are you like, you have stranger danger or what? Stranger danger. <laughs> 
Why don't you want to shower with me? I mean, you should probably ask Amelia. I mean, I think that's... <laughs> so I'm assuming you don't find me attractive? No, I mean, it's, it's not that I mean... <laughs> I don't think it'll be like, appropriate, you know. What if instead of showering and getting right into it, <laughs> maybe we can go on a date sometime? A date? A date. I can't tell if you're fucking with me or not. What do you mean? <laughs> you're just messing with me, right? No. What do you mean a date? Like a date. Mm. And where does Amelia fit in this equation? She doesn't have to know. Yeah, right. <laughs> should probably find out anyway. Like, that's not, I don't think that's a good idea, to be honest. I never thought I'd see the day. And it has come. Madeline got rejected. When we get in there, you can ask her how she feels. <laughs> so what do you want? What do you mean? What do you want? If you could have anything right now in this moment, what would it be? Yeah. I want to sober up. <laughs> you want to sober up, okay. So you telling me he not sober, and he still? Hey, hey, this just to prove it. City boys up, we loyal. Uh, we laid down right. These hoes ain't loyal. And just proved it. Just proved it. <laughs> this is not a joke. <laughs> oh shit! Is he about to change his mind? Like seriously. I understand your worry, but you don't have to be worried. Am I worried about my girlfriend? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am worried. <laughs> Fair enough. But I thought you were seeing somebody, too. I mean, we're like dating. It's not set in stone. No, it's not serious. I mean, it's serious, but it's not like set in stone. Do you guys have one of those arrangements? Arrangements? That is. A situation ship. <laughs> That's a situation ship for sure. <laughs> I guess I'm just keeping my options open. I don't remember how long you and Amelia were dating, so I thought maybe it was the same situation ship. I mean, you just left Vegas for an entire week. That doesn't seem like you're committed, you know? Well, no, you're allowed to act. I mean, she trusts me and I trust her. No, I agree. I agree you're supposed to, like, enjoy yourself and live your own life, but... I think we're, we trust each other, you know, so... I don't know, I don't know dog. I mean, you doing, you doing what you need to do. But Amelia getting hurt, you know. She getting cute dogged up the wall right now. Why you think she not here? You think she's stuck in traffic? No. No. She figured you was gonna fail. So let me go get cute dogged up the wall at college or whatever. Let me get dogged right quick. Let me get my shit tossed. While you do what you gotta do. Oh ass was loyal for no reason, man. I feel bad for you. I don't want to test the waters. Fair enough. Fair enough. I thought he was gonna change his mind, I'm not gonna lie. I thought he was starting to change his mind and get interested, but no, he's doubling down. I mean, don't take it like personal, you know, it's, it's not that I don't find you attractive or anything, but I'm like kind of involved with your friends, so. Fair enough. Yeah, maybe another lifetime. Another lifetime, <laughs> okay. So when we reincarnate as butterflies, yeah, yeah, yeah. we just. <laughs> My man. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Just saying, I knew it. I called him from the beginning. I told you the car. Remember? And I was like, this man's loyal. This man's said. loyal. I did. I said it in the car. So part of me did feel like Madeline came off a bit too unrealistically strung out the gates. However, we do got to give it a mo. This guy turned down showering and dating another girl. No, we, we got to give it to him. This man's loyal. This man's loyal. We got to give it to this guy. It sucks. Yeah. Amelia's not here to see this. This is actually more impressively. He turned down Madeline. Oh. <laughs> All I'm saying, hey, maybe they didn't get the the best looking out the bunch. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I'll give him 20 more minutes and I'll City boys up there. probably change his mind. <laughs> so, so we gotta we gotta call this off. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's, it's, are you, do you feel awkward? No, no, I'm good. I thought you were messing with me. I was like, wait, what? You think I'm messing with you? I thought you were, yeah. So if we got food right now, would that be considered a date? No, we can get food. I mean, think, you know, it's not a big deal. I would consider it a date. Why? What makes you say that? Because we're sitting down alone. <laughs> well, we're sitting down alone right now. This isn't a date. Hello? Hey, we have a situation that developed, and we need you down here, like ASAP, at the clubhouse. Yeah. 
Okay, they're calling me at the leasing office or something. I don't know what's going on. I have to run down there really quick. Give me like two seconds. Okay, I'll probably just change while you're going. Okay, make yourself at home. What's going on? Hey, where's Amelia? That's exactly what we wanted to talk to you about. What happened? We finally filled in Madeline on Amelia's situation and decided to have her be the one to tell Mo that this was all a test. And my God, what a test it has been. This was one of our most overcomplicated and overproblematic ones. But I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm just kidding. I like it when things go smooth. With that being said, though, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know. This shit's gonna be I'm gonna give it a little longer. If he don't fuck up or anybody, you know, spill it or whatever, I'm, I'm just gonna end the video. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Hello. I can explain. Don't freak out. Let me just explain. Don't, don't <laughs> freak out. Don't freak out. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> okay, so the, I'm gonna explain the cameras because. You know what? Hey. Game over though. I'm done talking on you, bitch. You, you try to you try to put me to the test. You don't trust me. You out of here. I, I'm not gonna talk to you no more. Vlogging? No, I actually do not vlog. You you upset? Look, she gonna be upset. Like, oh, he passes shit. I trust him. Nah, you lost it now. Play this prank on me. I'm gonna pass it. It's you out of here though. That, yeah, we're basically putting you to the test, right? To see if you would turn your back on your girlfriend and cheat on her or let me come on to you and like, yeah. That explains the cameras. <laughs> I'm so, why are you laughing? He's clearly upset. I'm sorry. I definitely was- Are this you was, serious? Yes, I was just basically acting. Obviously, I would, I'm not a homewrecker. I'm not gonna sleep with my friend's boyfriend. Like, that's really weird. Yeah, so this entire thing was a loyalty test, basically. So. Everything that every, that was so okay. Everything that <laughs> happens was literally all part of the test. So like your entire interaction with Madeline from a week ago till today was all literally a part of the test. Oh wow. So yes. so yeah. I'm I'm not close to Amelia. Um, I, I, I say, don't like, vlog. Okay. Yeah, I don't vlog. This is actually not even my place. I think it's been the kind of suspect like since the beginning. Who's been really? kind of suspect? Just like everything. Like, oh. <laughs> I don't know, like one, like they were such good friends, but like Amelia never mentioned her to me. Got it. You know, so like at the beginning, I, I don't know, I kind of thought about it, but then like I left, so I didn't give any more thought, and then kind of just the whole shower stuff, I was like, I don't like, <laughs> it doesn't like, I don't know. And you said no to the shower, and you said no to the date, so that's great, you passed. <laughs> uh, why would Amelia, like, her did Amelia say like why? I, should, I mean, she just, the she was just not sure, she didn't really know. If I'm trying to tell y'all niggas. I'm trying to tell you. As you talking right now, she getting her shit stuffed. I'm trying to tell you. If you were loyal and if she wanted to see if you were. Okay. Hmm. Amelia was supposed to be here too. And she wants to have a conversation with you actually later today. And she does plan on still picking you up. So. Oh, okay. I was just about to ask if I'm like stranded here. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I'll take care. I mean, I'll talk to her, but that's kind of weird. I don't know. I didn't think I could yeah. have like any reason to to question, you know, like, hey, I know I keep saying it, but I hope, I hope that thought in his mind is like conjuring up, cause if you ain't do nothing for you for for her to like think about that, I mean, of course, girls gonna you know have second thoughts, whatever. But you ain't do nothing. I'm trying to tell you, she did some. She either doing some or she did some. That's between you and her. Yeah, I have I absolutely no idea. Yeah, yeah. That's like you guys. I mean. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know. I'm sorry. Oh um, no, I don't hate you guys uh, or Amelia. I mean, I just kind of want to figure out like what was going on in your head or yeah. why. Yeah, I feel it. What I might have done to to think, you know, to question my own. I don't know. Yeah, I guess uh, I'll talk to her when I get home. What were your thoughts when she was like asking you to like shower with her? Well, I thought she was joking at first, you know, for like I don't uh -huh. know, like I thought she was kind of kidding, and then that's and then she like. I kind of pushed it like, oh no, I'm like I'm being serious with you. Like, <laughs> that's kind of like direct, you know? Like, I know? Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be like, hey, let's shower. Yeah, it's like, that's it. <laughs> that's super direct. I don't know. So what you're saying is that if she was a little less direct, you would have said yes. No. <laughs> uh, okay.
just putting it out there. Stop hyping these ugly hoes up, bro. Just who's gonna put that out there? Hey, turn off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll chat. No, no, I'm just kidding. We're, we're good. No, so we're good. No, we're good. No. Yeah. Everything oh, good. Todo bien. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So we're gonna need you to get the fuck out now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 MTV first. Get the fuck out of the house. Samo turned out to be a really cool guy and was pretty chill about everything. Emilia eventually showed up to pick him up. He got his things out of Madeline's car and they were on their way. We truly, truly I wish he these look a two little more Mexican. I don't know. I, I just got. I don't know. Nothing but the best. We gotta get to the bottom of this. What the hell happened during that ride? <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right, y'all. You know, uh, last video for today. I'll see y'all next reaction video. And road to one mil.